Max, what do you think the key is to this to this playoff series? How how you and Orlando match it? What's the key? The key is to win the game. Uh, win four of them before they do. Uh, we gotta try to do that in any way possible. It's gonna be a tough series. They're a physical team. They're a good team. Just gotta come ready to play. Max, how do you guys measure the toughness? Is there like a thermometer for you guys on any given night? No, toughness is about doing the dirty things, doing the stuff that people don't want to do. Um, whether that's you know diving for a loose ball, taking a charge, making an extra box out, just making an extra play that uh, helps the team win a game. You were talking the other night about hopefully you guys do the right thing and hopefully you're ready for the playoffs. When it gets to game one on Saturday, what will let you know that you guys are indeed ready? Yeah, I mean, we're learning that this week. Uh, you know, we're, we're preparing for it now. We're starting to understand, you know, our game plan, uh, adjust to how they play, figuring out what we're going to do. So we'll be ready and prepared for, for Saturday. And um, Game one tells you everything. Uh, tells you how you're going to play, and then from there on out, Teams make adjustments, guys figure out how they're going to score, guys figure out how they're guarding you. So um, game one's going to tell a lot, and uh, we'll just be ready to play and, and give it our best. Max, you guys split the, the series this year with them. Um, at times, their, their size, their athleticism really seemed to be a, a bit of a challenge. So just what can you take away from those regular season matchups that can help you guys get ready for this series? Yeah, I mean, that's what we're relying on. You rely on those games you guys played during the year um, and how they played and how we played. So um, that's what we're watching film of. That's what we're making our game plan off of. So um, those four games during the season were huge. And we learned a lot about ourselves. We learned a lot about them. And um, just take whatever we learned and, and, and try to put it into this series. What did you learn specifically about Danny He's tough. Uh, he's an all-star, obviously. He makes tough shots. He's physical. Uh, just got to make it make it tough on him. We got a lot of good defenders. We're gonna put on him and uh, just make it as tough as possible. Number one team in the league at free throw rate. You guys pride yourselves on defending without fouling. What do you guys don't like talking about? But how much will the whistles play a factor in this game? In this series? No, we just got to play our game. Uh, like you said defend without fouling. Uh, you know the playoffs get a little more physical. Uh, so you know, hopefully they allow us to play our game and can't get caught up in that. Just gotta you know defend. How we've been defending all year, and uh, just play hard. It's all we can control. Max, everything was so up and down for you guys most of this year. Is this really a chance to kind of reset? Is it, is it genuinely like a refresh, and you can kind of start working again? Uh, yes and no. Um, kind of like a breath of fresh air that we got here. We're here. Um, you know, this is what we've been talking about all year. But at the same time, you want to remember everything that happened during the year. Uh, you want to. You know, all those you know, close games, all the tough losses, all the bad losses, um, all the good wins, everything that we've done, good or bad, you want to remember it um, so that, you know, when you're putting those situations in the playoffs, you're, you're prepared and have already been through adversity. Before you had your first playoff experience, the first taste of it, you probably told that it was a whole different level. Yeah. Did it meet those expectations when you finally did experience it? Oh, for it? sure, for sure. Uh, playoff basketball is special. There's nothing like it. Uh, every possession matters. Not that it doesn't during the regular season. It's just heightened a little bit. Uh, a little bit more, um, and that's what you live for. That's what you live for as an NBA player. That's what you live for as a basketball player is to co compete at, at the level like this and, and play on uh, big games. Off of that, just how invaluable is your experience coming from Miami where you made the class a bunch with a, with a younger group that's kind of only yeah. going through like the second time? Yeah, I mean, I hope my experience and my knowledge can help us uh, make a long playoff run. Um, I've been through a lot. Um, I've seen a lot and, and experienced a lot. So. Uh, you know, I hope I can you know, keep a, the mental strength in the room and, and understand, you know, not, not to get uh, too high, too low um, during the playoffs and just try to help this team, uh, you know, conquer our goals of, of advancing and making a long playoff run. Does the fact that some of those younger guys got that experience last year help in, like, get them ready with all the experience you have and other guys who have had multiple years of playoff experience? Yeah, I mean, for sure, any playoff experience is experience. So, um, you know, I'm glad, you know, they, they got that chance last year, but we're looking to make it a little bit of a different situation this season. How tough have you noticed it being in the past to keep from riding that emotional roller coaster that you were talking about? Yeah, it's hard. It's hard not to get caught up in it. It's hard not to get caught up in the crowd because um, you just sense that, you know, everybody's watching. Everybody knows what's going on. And, um, Everything like I said, everything's heightened at this level. So um, it is tough, but at the same time, we've been doing this all year. It's, it's still basketball at the end of the day. It's still um, X's and O's and making adjustments on what we've been doing all season. So um, 
we have all the confidence built up in what we've done this year, and uh, we'll just let that carry us throughout this. Well, yeah, did you feel last year with the heat that, that team confidence just growing as you mowed down for sure. teams in your in For sure. It's all about playing basketball the right way and, and playing basketball. Uh, you know, the team's getting hot at the right time. Um, and that's what happened last year with the Heat. Uh, I prefer not to keep talking about it because I'm right. looking forward to the Cavs. But, um, yeah, we just got hot, right, hot at the right time and guys were playing the basketball the right way. Um, and it's contagious. Winning's contagious um, when you do things the right way. And um, that's what I'm trying to, you know, help, help bring here. As far as the mentor approach goes, um, how important is staying even keeled at this time of year? It's huge. It's everything. I mean, that's that's what it's all about. Um, staying healthy um, and just competing night out, night in and night out, no matter you know what's going on. You just gotta stay mentally locked in on, on the moment and the task at hand. Because you guys were able to win this year with so many different lineups. Missing so many guys at different parts. Yeah. Can that be an advantage for you sure. going into this uh, this playoff run because of the unpredictability? This is the last question. For sure, uh, our depth is one of our strengths, and we know that, and everybody in our locker room believes that. So um, we've shown all year that you know one through fifteen on our roster can play and, and produce for us on any given night. So um, the ability to have that is special, and um, you know we'll, we'll understand that, and, and we'll look to take advantage of that throughout the postseason.